XDR is a holistic detection and response solution that goes beyond the endpoint to remove silos of visibilities. It leverages on advanced analytics like artificial intelligence and big data analytics as well as Trend Micro's extensive smart protection network to provide more detections and faster response. This is the first in this video series on integrating and testing of tools and add-ons with Trend Micro XDR. For this guide, we will be showing you how to install the Trend Micro XDR Splunk add-on and how to connect the Trend Micro XDR data to Splunk. If you wish to follow along the steps shown in this video, you'll need to have your Trend Micro XDR account secured as well as already installed the Splunk application. Splunk is a software used for monitoring, searching, analyzing, and visualizing the machine-generated data in real-time. Splunk provides easy-to-access data over the whole organization for easy diagnostics and solutions to various business problems. The Trend Micro XDR Splunk add-on allows you to receive alert notifications on the Splunk console. Before we begin, we need to download the package from the XDR console. Log in to your Trend Micro XDR console. From the main menu, click on the administration icon, then select Alert Notifications. Click on the download button beside the Trend Micro XDR Splunk add-on label. Your browser will then notify you that the package is being downloaded. Once the download has finished, Go to the folder where the package is downloaded. Extract the contents of the zip file. On the Extract folder, you will find two files, Dashboard Template XML and XDR Splunk file. We will use these files later, so be sure to remember where you saved it. This time, open your Splunk web console and log in using your administrator account. On the App Launcher home screen, click on the Manage App icon on the left panel to navigate to the App screen. From the Apps panel, click on the Install App from the File button. In the Upload App screen, click the Choose File button, then navigate to the folder where we extracted the files earlier. Select the file XDR Splunk, then click on Open, then finally click on Upload. After a short while, the Trend Micro XDR add-on should appear on the app screen. Alternatively, you can use the filter slash search option and type XDR to filter all apps with the XDR string. Now we have fully verified that the app was loaded successfully. Our next objective is to copy and paste endpoint URL and authentication token located on the XDR console to the Splunk settings. This is the end of the first part of this guide. Play the next part to continue where we left off.